Hi, it's Fred again. Uh, so now we're going to tell you about some uh, emergency procedures in the lab. Uh, if you have a minor accident or a, a, a big accident in the lab, make sure you tell your instructor and lab partners uh, that you need help and also what happened. Um, so if it's a minor, you, you cut yourself on a bit of glass or something, your instructor will probably uh, bring you over to our first aid kit to get you a band-aid. Uh, if it's a, a larger incident um, uh, where we might need more extensive first aid, we're going to call public safety. And from a campus phone, that number is just 4444. Uh, from a non-campus phone, like a cell phone, it's 971-722-4444. And you can look at the emergency guide on the wall uh, if you can't remember that phone number. All right, so in the chemistry lab, we're working with chemicals a lot of the time. And normally, uh, you know, we want to work with those safely. Uh, so if, the, if the lab instructions say to do so, be sure to work in the fume hood. And when you're working with the fume hood, you want to match up the arrows uh, <clears throat> to make sure that it's got the proper ventilation flow. So look at the arrows on both sides of the fume hood. Uh, you never want to have the, the sash raised higher than that when you're working in there. And when you're not working in there, uh, uh, down it is safer. Uh, so if you're working on your experiment in here, when you're done with the experiment, the chemicals, uh, the waste chemicals are going to go into a waste jar, uh, not down the drain. And the other thing, when you're working with chemicals, you might have a spill. So again, be sure to, to tell your instructor. Uh, if you've spilled chemicals on a surface, again, they can't just go down the drain or in the trash. We have special cleanup procedures and materials. Uh, if you spill chemicals on yourself, there are a couple different actions that you might need to take. So if you have drenched yourself in chemicals head to toe, you would use the chemical shower here. Uh, you would pull on this handle and lots and lots of water are going to come down and flush those chemicals off of you. Um, uh, generally, we won't be working with the amounts of chemicals where you would need to do that, but uh, for your future lab career, um, uh, it might be more likely if you're working with large quantities of uh, dangerous chemicals. Uh, if you spill uh, chemicals into your eyes, you, you would want to use an eye wash. And on this station, you would just pull out the handle, or the, the handle like this. I'm not going to pull it all the way to start the flow, but if you pull that all the way down, Water's going to start pouring out of there, and you would put your eyes under there for about 15 minutes. So we have a different style of eye wash that I'll show you in a second here, and we'll pause the video. All right, over here we have a different style of eye wash. And this one you can just pull out, and uh, this one I will demonstrate. Uh, so you can see the flow of water. When you're using an eye wash, you'll want your lab partner to guide you to the eye wash. You want to hold your eyes open under the the water uh, and thoroughly flush it for 15 minutes and then follow up with um, uh, maybe other medical care as needed. So. All right, the other emergency we might have is a fire emergency. If you're using the Bunsen burners and something catches fire, um, if you find yourself on fire, stop, drop, and roll and uh, have your lab partner come and get the fire blanket to smother that fire. So that's just in here. You can pull this out and uh, it will put the fire out. Um, if it's a fire, uh, a small fire that uh, we could use a fire extinguisher on, you could grab the fire extinguisher and take it to the fire. Only do this if you know how to use this. If you don't know how to use it, um, the best course of action is to evacuate. Okay, so if there's a big fire and you need to get out of the room in a hurry, um, uh, either by what you see in the room or by what uh, alarm is going off. If it's in the room, 
get out as quick as you can and hit the gas shut off right over here. Uh, if it's a small fire or you just hear the alarm and uh, you have time to safely do so, grab your stuff. So, you know, you want your car keys, your cell phone, your wallet. Uh, you don't want to have that in the building and then be stuck outside uh, and needing an escort to come and get it. So grab your stuff, hit the gas shut off, and then go to the safe assembly area, which is out the door and down the stairs uh, in between the buildings. And there's uh, alternative exits uh, in case this one is blocked. And there's also a fire extinguisher outside the room. Uh, if, uh, uh, that's the closest fire extinguisher. Uh, 